Hi, my name is Peter and on this video I'm going to show you how to install Auto 13 on uh, Ubuntu Linux on Amazon AWS services in less than 10 minutes. What you need for that is a console, okay, of course, it's in Mac standard, okay. And uh, then we need an uh, Amazon account. Remember, if you log in for the first time, you get 12 months of T2 micro server for free for 12 months, yeah, as I mentioned. And of course, documentation, okay, no one reads it, but you can, it can save you a lot of time and money. So let's start, uh, well, I should run a stopwatch, but yeah, it's not necessary. Uh, what, what would we do first is to just to launch a new instance. According to the order, you want to install a different version of Linux might be needed. Okay, maybe older order won't work on 1804. Uh, yeah, but we're going with older 13. Ubuntu now we choose uh, probably medium should be fine. See, free for eligible. I'm not eligible anymore anyway. Review and launch. Of course, this you also need to check in the documentation. Okay. Review and launch. In base we got 8 gigs from. If you have a key, then you choose existing key. If not, you can uh, create a new key pair, download it, put on your desktop or in some other folder. We already have a demo. Launch instance. It is launching, it's gonna take a couple minutes. And in the meantime, we need to remember that uh, that we should really set up the security by, as by default, the inbound <coughs> security rules. So we got like a Amazon firewall on the top. Then uh, by default is 22, the port is open. For web we need like 80 and as all those working on 8069 and you won't be using Nginx in that time. We open 8069. Of course, as it's a development server, okay, maybe you don't want to give an access to any other party, so you can exclude it from internet except your own IP. In my case, I don't care, okay. Yay. Save. So now this should be running already. We have one key pair, one volume, it's still initializing, but, but how to connect to it? Right click, then uh, let's see, let's see, it says connect on the top. You just follow those steps. If you just downloaded the, the PEM file, copy, paste, execute. Okay, then you just connect to the server. Let's connect. Copy, yes, so hard, this is very hard. And paste. And hit enter. Yes, we like connect. Okay, so we are connected in here, okay. Let's clean this window, you can. And uh, then, what should we do next? You have to download all the, so, the easiest type of installation will be like a package installer. As you can see for Windows, you can just download exit file and run it. Click next and next and it's done. And then on Linux, as we are using Ubuntu, well, we should install PostgreSQL if it's not there yet. Paste, enter. Okay, as it's uh, installing Postgres, one more thing worth to mention, uh, always choose the right country to run your server, as in some countries there are regulations about the country where the data is stored. So like if you have a customer in Europe, or if your company is in Europe, probably you would have to choose a European server for that. 
Okay. As you can see, it's already installed. Now let's copy and paste another bit. Copy. It is 11 now, so you can't hit the right buttons. Already. Yeah, or command C. Paste. Enter. Now, what we need is this one. Echo. Okay. And the last one. And the, the good thing of that installation is that you will be able to update it just using this by just using this command to the latest version of Odoo. Uh, I won't show in this tutorial, but uh, you should also secure the set a master password, for example. You would have to configure Nginx or Apache server if you want to. <coughs> add your domain, maybe I'll make another video for that. Also install SSL certificate. There are a couple more things to do, but all of this stuff is in the documentation, okay? So you just follow the documentation, the installation. Then once it's installed, then you have a deployment, yeah? Let's say. Let's see what's here. Yeah, pretty much everything. But it's the video is not about this. We want to run, install and run all the in less than 10 minutes. So in less than 10 minutes, you can copy and paste a couple lines of code, of commands actually. <coughs> Sorry and save 500 euro maybe less or more depending in which country you're in okay as it's as it has finished the job we can check if it's working okay so we uh, on amazon there's a temporary ip address of course you can assign the Normal address is called Elastic IP, so that will be permanent. Wait, wait, let me copy this and paste it in your browser with IT69 as we haven't configured the reverse proxy. So we just enter all the using this port, and as you can see, it's not secure, the SSL is not there. Let's put some demo data. Uh, demo. Demo. No, chair dot tech. Create a database or restore one if you have already. Let's wait. Hmm. So once it's installed, remember to create a database password, set up and config uh, Nginx or Apache, install SSL certificate, and you can also uh, tweak uh, config files so it works faster and more efficient. This is on my blog on uh, chair.tech website, cier.tech which are all welcome to see and you are also welcome to like this video and like my Facebook page which is the same name as this you can Google and if you need any help you can get in touch with me of course and of course if you still can't do it by yourself and you don't want to read the super easy documentation 
I fully understand it. Not everyone is meant to to do this stuff. You can contact me and I can do it for a small charge. Anyway, enjoy your audio and see you later.